Welcome back, everyone. You've just tuned into First Up Center's Inside Out. And today, we're going to talk about what rehab is like with Chef Michael Campion. So let's get started. Uh, my name is Chef Michael. I'm the chef here at the uh, First Step Center. And I'm going to talk to you with you a little bit about, uh, I guess, my first uh, rehab experience. Uh, it was difficult, you know, for the first couple of days, but that's just how it is, you know. Uh, I think, uh, you know, you're just trying to heal your mind and you're around just different people and it's a whole new environment. But if you just get through the first day, uh, it, it's you get used to it and it's pretty smooth sailing. I think that uh, what I encourage people to do, you know, take this time to heal your mind because that's really what I did, you know, when I was in rehab. Uh, because it's really not often that you get a 30 day break from life to just reflect, heal, chill, and figure out, you know, how you how you want to be a better person. You know, I think some people go to rehab and, you know, they think it's like, uh, like it's a vacation and like it's a big circus. And, uh, you know, I really embraced uh, the 12-step program, you know, that was uh, a lot of the rehabs have um, at their facility. And just all the staff's very helpful and they help you become a better you and uh, beat addiction like that's really what you're there for one reason i think that a lot of people you know they don't they don't really know how to focus in rehab because they're concerned about losing weight and they want to like you know be this super person immediately and i encourage you to kind of just chill out from that and focus on one thing and that's stop doing drugs and alcohol for right now like that's why you're in rehab and that's what i when i was in rehab i kind of came to realize was you know I need to like stop doing drugs and drinking right now. That's the focus. All the pay, all the uh, staff and rehab and uh, the programs that you go through, they just educate you on how to live life without the crutch of drugs and alcohol. After the 30 days, you kind of have a good, a, a, a good amount of practice of sobriety, because that's really all sobriety is. It, it gets easier with practice, you know. Um, you know, it gets easier. My life was just in shambles. I mean, it was either rehab or hit the street, and I think a lot of people are in that position, you know. Uh, and you know, when you're in rehab, here's something else I encourage you to think about. Be grateful that somebody is taking freaking care of you. You are alive. You could be freaking dead. And you're not, you know, you made it. And um, yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, I had a cocaine problem for a while. And, uh, and after that, it was, it was alcohol, you know. Creeps up on you. I mean, there was there was a point where I couldn't cross the freaking street without having a drink, you know. And it creeps up on you. You know, I thought about it, and I think that you don't really know. You don't know you're an addict until you're addicted, or you don't know you can become an addict until you're addicted. I left the state and got a job out of state. Left all that stuff. I was like, yes, okay, I'm free of cocaine. But I didn't realize that, you know. And I was, but you didn't realize, you know, alcohol was like everywhere. So my, that habit just skyrocketed. So I became like a really crazy dr drinker. Well, because I really wanted to change. And I kind of embraced that time period to, I had books to read up on, you know, how to be a better person in this area in life and another area of life. I'm a, I'm a chef, so you know, I had some cooking books and things like that, but just, uh, you know, just reading. And you make friends in rehab, too. You know, I, I, had, I had some friends, and um, everyone's there for a different reason, and you're going to utilize the time in whatever, in whatever way you want. But, you know, 
I encourage you to use that time to be a better person. Just, how, what's the plan? You know what? Come up with a plan. <laughs> what's the plan <laughs> when you get out? And, you know, look, you can be a successaholic or you can be an alcoholic. Much pleasure. I mean, that's kind of the mind frame I had. And, you know, the uh, alcoholism just <sighs> destroys your life. With the counselor, you kind of get down to the root of your addiction, which is very healthy and necessary for you to understand why you're doing stupid things. Because whatever helps, helps to get you out of this addictive pattern. So you kind of like, kind of like dissect the animal a little bit. Yeah. Well, I took my family through hell. I mean, I have two families. I have my mom's side, then I have my dad's side. You know, I'm a, my child of divorce, but child of divorce, give me a break. But um, I really did put them through hell. However, because I went to rehab and I got help, now I'm in the position two and a half years later where I'm the exact opposite. You know, I mean, I just, I'm, I'm giving a lot back to my parents. And I'm gonna tell you right now, no rehab facility is perfect. And you're always gonna be surrounded by people that, other patients that do, they just love to nitpick things that are imperfect. And they should have done this and they should have done that. Look at your own recovery is up to you. And you got all kinds of people around you that are trying to help you. And you're never gonna find a rehab facility that somebody thinks is perfect. You know, we're human beings, man. Like, <laughs> um, I think that professionals in the, you know, behavioral health industry, I just, I tip my hat to them. I mean, to, you know, do their job every day and go through with what they have to go through. They do a great job, man. Like, it's tough, you know. But things get, things get better. Things get better. You know, it's, uh, just like anything, with practice, practice makes perfect. You get you get to be a better practice sober person. It gets easier. You get better at it. Thank you for tuning in today. It means so much to us. If you have a topic you'd like us to make a video on, please leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you like what you see. And as always, be blessed and stay sober. Thank you.